Hey guys, it's Jazz, aka The Girl Who Can't Smell, inviting you to tune in to the first ever episode and season of The Girl Who Can't Smell show. My first episode features my amazing sister, JJ. I interview her on what it's been like for her to grow up with someone who has anosmia. Anyway, so I'll let you guys listen. Thank you so much for your support. I'll catch you guys later. Hey everyone, it's the girl who can smell. This episode is really special. I hold it near and dear to my heart because I am interviewing my, okay, not only my best friend, but my firstborn sister. <laughs> She's the oldest sister, I mean. Her name is Yoma. She has a really long name. It's Yomaira, <laughs> but we call her Yoma. I call her JJ. You guys can call her JJ as well because you guys are her friend too now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm everyone's friend. She's the best. I just want to say thank you, JJ, for being on the Girl Who Can't Smell show today. No, well, thank you. It's a great honor. And thank you for calling me your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we all know, the Girl Who Can't Smell's home page her website right my website is one of the biggest goals is to create a, a place where not only anosmics can go ahead and hang out but also relatives and friends and and co-workers of people who are who know anosmics we this page is for you guys as well like i want you guys to feel included in what it's like for an anosmic, like how life is established, right? So this is why I wanted to bring on my sister today because she has been with me. I think she's the one that knows me the most. And especially, especially like, I think that she will bring a lot of perspective to my experience of being an anosmic. So I would just want to go ahead and start and just ask her, JJ, what do you think about me having anosmia? Well, I mean, it's, to me, it's a little bizarre. <laughs> I remember you telling me as a little girl, I can't smell, I can't smell, sister. And I would be like, that's impossible you have to smell like smell these flowers what do they smell like and you would be like you would take this giant swift like of of like like a like a whiff a whiff mm -hmm. like a big whiff from your nose and be like so what am i supposed to like be smelling and i was like hi sister like i i don't believe you it was just a disbelief and until this day i think I've become more accepting of it. There's more scientific proof towards it. And there's been like some clues in my life, well, being with you and stuff that have really proved that you really can't smell. So I think you were probably the first person that saw a big question mark on my face, right? Like when you asked, I just, Honestly, I think now that I think back, there was one time we went to the zoo and there was this like this machine that would test your smells. Like there's this like machine that would test scents and you we would be pushing these buttons on the machine and I didn't know how to interpret <laughs> this thing. And you just looked at me like like a big question mark on your face. Like, what is your problem, Jess? Like, why not? Like, why aren't you reacting to the sense, mm -hmm. right? Because, like, you had to choose. Like, it was something about, like, it was at the L.A. Zoo. It was like this. I remember. Right? Like this. This machine that you would press and it would give you different smell. Like, yeah. this smells like what? And you'd be like, it you smells like to, this. Exactly. Like, you had to push a button to say, like, A, B, or C or something mm -hmm. like that, right? 
And I, I would look to you to answer the question. I'm like, I don't know how to do this. Like, big sister, help me. Yeah. I thought that was really funny. But um, <laughs> let's go on to a second question that I have for you. So, on like, you do remember me telling, telling you that I can't smell them. Correct. Okay. I clearly remember. <laughs> and I, like I said, I was in disbelief. I'm like, that, there's no way somebody cannot smell. Like, how? And I thought you would, because would, you're such a big prankster. I thought you were pranking me for the longest time, like saying you can't smell just to get away with things. And that's like, what is going on, Jazz? Like, why do you say you can't smell? But I do remember. I do remember. And I remember even my mom taking you to the doctor because you kept telling her, I can't smell. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I have an article about that. Mm -hmm. I have written about it. And it's it was just like a, such a, it was such a weird experience for me, I think. Like, first of all, I wish that you would have been there because it would have been a totally different experience. Just me going with my mom alone with what the doctor told me where he just shrugged it off i'm like no i like that's what made me a little bit more secretive about having not like anosmia like it just it was weird i don't know just and i tell everyone right like i i've opened up to you guys yeah about how that experience made me feel so anyways um, <laughs> let's just go ahead and move on to other things, right? Okay, so let me just ask you another thing really quick because <laughs> it was so funny. The first time I told my boyfriend, my now husband, <laughs> how, what, how I couldn't smell, he had bought me like this, this big gigantic gift bag of like bath and body works i like remember the cucumber melon the cucumber scent. melon scent <laughs> <laughs> i remember that clearly because <laughs> i would use it <laughs> and that's what my other question was did you ever think you could get away with using any of my <laughs> lotions that my boyfriend had gifted me <laughs> that probably answers the question already like yes i think it did like, I think you feel like you did get away with that. Because <laughs> I wouldn't be able to tell if you used it. Well, it was funny. And not, I don't want to be mean or anything. But I know, like, there were instances where I'd be like, Jazz, did you forget to put on deodorant? Why don't you spray some of your cucumber melon spray on yourself? <laughs> and you'd be like, why? That, I think that's when, like, I feel like it was one of your first instances where you were more of self-conscious of how you smelled or how other people can yeah. smell you because i i think i was like your second no like your working nose where you were my designated nose designated that's, that's, that, that's a better term yeah. yes mm -hmm. yes <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy but you thought that you could use my my stuff oh totally i would like steal some of your spray all the time so i could smell pretty because anybody knows that <laughs> bath and body works scent that stuff that, was expensive that is now discontinued let me tell you it is? yes smelled amazing i loved it i can still smell it in my nose right now that you mentioned and you know what the weird thing is i have such a strong sense of smell it i maybe i stole it from you. i think you did i think that's our <laughs> like running joke where i feel like my sister like she's the first one that was born out of all of the siblings in my family like she has like the best sense of smell it's I'm just so like, bad that is that is so amazing to me like she has all these weird ways of telling if i well you guys know about the whole makeup situation right like when i used your <laughs> chocolate <laughs> I, I shadow yeah, palette that shadow palette i was like really like i don't even know how the heck well now i know because it was like the scent right? i have the weirdest sense of smell but she can detect smells like i think from a mile away it's bad Mhm. Mm and she's always been able to tell me if i smell bad so i think that that's she's been a good asset for me because like i said she has been my designated nose <laughs> throughout my entire life <laughs> uh, 
And actually, now that you mentioned it, I think <laughs> there is a time, right, where you know, like, there was a time where I smelled so bad you questioned if I had a problem. <laughs> I can recall several instances. <laughs> oh my god, these are so embarrassing. Can I count? Like, can I? Can I tell about like a very? Yes, I don't care. All these embarrassing situations, I don't care anymore, you guys. So, the girl who can't smell and I work together in the same office, and. We would take these fun morning trips to Starbucks. <laughs> and I remember one time meeting her there. We we worked in the same office, but then like the office is separated. But we would still meet for coffee in the mornings just to say, hi, good morning. I hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm. So I remember coming in. She looked super cute that day. She was wearing the cutest like dachshund shirt with a little sweater vest or um, cardigan. And I got close to her to give her a hug. And all of a sudden, like, I have this, like, very strong, like, I don't know if it was, like, dog-like smell, like, dog <laughs> urine smell. But I'm like... I thought it was armpit. Armpit smell. I don't know what it was, but it was very strong. And I, I, I asked the girl who can't smell. I told her... You can, you can say my name. I'm okay, Jazz. Jazz. So I was like, Jazz what is up with your shirt i told her did you wash it? like when's the last time you washed it sister and she's like why <laughs> i'm like well there's like this really strong order coming out of your shirt like i gave her a big hug because every morning i would give her a big hug and she's like well i don't know i just grabbed it from one of my clothing bags and like ironed it and put it on for work I'm like, oh my goodness, sister, I think you need to like either change or like spray something on. I have something that you can use. Uh -huh. Like, let's help you out, girl. I got your back. I got your nose back. <laughs> and, and it was so embarrassing, even though it was my sister. Like, I still felt such paranoia like the days after. I was like, oh my God, like, <laughs> I really have to make sure I wash my clothes because i sincerely thought that that sweater i think it was the black sweater that was wearing yeah. that i was wearing on top of my other shirt that smelled bad and you know sister like i feel really bad because i before you like raising awareness for anosmia and creating your blog i wasn't the kindest communicator that there was like mm -hmm. I was very blunt and to the point mm. and it, it, what is it insensitive unsensitive insensitive insensitive and now I feel terrible because now that you create this like have created this conscious in me with your blog with your like social media portals it, it's made me more conscientious of what I say or how I express it towards you because before I wasn't very nice about it and I'm really, really sorry if I ever was mean to you. I mean, it's, I know you guys as Olfies, that's how we refer to people who can smell, right? You guys mean well. And I think like a lot of you guys think, well, if I give her the straight story, you know, like, oh, they're going to learn their lesson but like we can't learn a lesson for something that's invisible to us that we don't understand <laughs> yeah. it's like it's weird and so I mean there are some tips that I do give people especially when you discuss right um, when you tell someone that you trust that you can't smell like there's ways for the person receiving the message how to handle that information and i think that that's part of my awareness mm -hmm. right it's really important for people to feel understood and um it's like a empathy thing mm -hmm. right definitely and so that's what i included in my seven tips for supporting someone living with an osmia i like, love that i read it it's yeah, awesome yeah absolutely and I, and I created it for people who are relatives, who are friends, who are co-workers of people who live with someone or know someone who is an osmic. And because we always get the, that, um, 
just that sense, no? Like when we say something like as far as like not being able to smell, we we give that message out to people. Then people say, oh, it's you're so lucky you can't smell. Like, oh, there's more bad sense than there's good. And it's like, no, like don't, don't downplay it that way. Mm-hmm. Don't be so dismissive about it. Like even though you think that it's not like, the most important sense for us it's still something that we wished we could have yeah you know what i'm saying like and just how we want you guys to handle that situation when we tell you i think if there's some more awareness about it it would greatly help in our in our in our way of later interpreting it in our lives and and just developing better socially because i think sometimes when like we don't feel understood it impacts our Mm self-esteem really and it impacts the way we relate to other people who can smell it's bad enough that we can't relate to all the amazing things you guys to get to experience but um you know it's just we we still want to fit in like Mm -hmm. we but we want you guys to understand which is mainly the point right yeah but, um, yeah, in any sense, like, it's still, you know, it's still good to know how you guys are supposed to react. So that's kind of part of the awareness. So I just wish anyone who is a relative or friend or coworker of an anosmic just to read those seven tips. And then that will help you guys a little bit more with knowing how to respond to that, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you, JJ, for uh, hanging out with me today. Of course. And um, just giving your perspective, right, about what it has been for you to live with someone like <laughs> <laughs> me. Uh, it's, it's just, honestly, I think my big sister is such a great influence in my life. I love her to death. I love you too, She has been such an inspiration. She has supported me so much. You guys don't even know. Like, if you guys want to follow her, she has her amazing, like, website and Instagram. It's, like, Crafty Yoma. She makes all these amazing wreaths. (laughs) Like, if you have a beautiful place, like a house and stuff, like, or an apartment or whatever, and you want to decorate it, she is your go-to girl to do it. Because she creates these beautiful wreaths. Right now, it was the Christmas season. It's already passed, but there's so many other holidays that she can make wreaths for. Definitely. Um, what's the next one? Valentine's. Valentine's? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, love, right, is in the air. Yes. Uh, even for, like, I feel like... Um, for St. Patrick's Day, like for luck or whatever, <laughs> you probably should make some wreaths that are like green and stuff, like all four cute. leaf clovers. Yeah, but um, I just want to thank you guys because, like I said, like I'm your guys's friend, and the girl who can smell loves to hear from you guys. So if you guys have like a sibling or a cousin, uh, aunt or uncle, mom, dad any type of relative that you guys feel you've been able to have as your designated nose, tag them on this post. Like, (laughs) tag them. Like, tell them, hey, you know what? Like, I feel so lucky to have you. Thank you for helping me navigate this world, this senseless world for us, right, that has senses, that has to make sense, even though we can't make sense. (laughs) <laughs> that was like a that was crazy anyway so i just want to tell you guys thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys later i'll go ahead and like have more surprises for you in store but uh, is there anything else you want to say jj before we go well i want to thank you very much for inviting me to um talk to your peeps about anosmia awareness and what my um, experience has been being your designated nose (laughs) i'm very proud of you for doing this and i love you very very much thanks jj (laughs) okay you guys so just uh make sure you uh hang out uh 
continue hanging out. Tag JJ, message her if you guys want. <laughs> 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 I will. I'll be messaging her all the time. But anyways, you guys, so make sure that you, if you like this episode, make sure you share it on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Instagram. <laughs> I'm like on the, all the platforms. All the platforms. I'm really active on all of them. So make sure you send me a message if you have any questions or whatnot. But I just want to make sure that you guys know that you guys can connect with me. But anyways, I'll leave you guys alone. I'll sign off with love, the girl who can't smell. Bye, guys.